It was a dark day in Lebanon's history. August 4, 2020, a massive explosion at Beirut port tore through nearby neighborhoods, killing more than 200 people, injuring thousands. Hundreds of thousands were made homeless. And it all came without warning. Two years on, there's still been no accountability for one of the biggest non-nuclear blasts in history. Not one top official has been held to account, even though the investigation has showed that a range of officials, politicians, heads of security agencies, even judges, they were all aware of the presence of highly explosive material, ammonium nitrate, at one of the warehouses at Beirut port. So families of the victims are still fighting for justice, even though many will tell you that they've lost hope in a country with a culture of impunity, in a country where the political class has come together to stand in the way of any accountability. Political crimes have gone unpunished in Lebanon. The political class has managed to block the investigation. In fact, it has been suspended for months. Politicians wanted in connection with the blast, accused of criminal negligence, have filed lawsuits against the lead judge in the case, Tariq Bitar. And Tariq Bitar really has come under a lot of pressure uh, from the different political parties, accusing him uh, of bias. So he has not really been able, able to work. Even the arrest warrants that he has issued have not been implemented by the security agency. So he's really up against a political class which is refusing accountability. It's not just accountability. There's still no answers. People are demanding answers on why was the ammonium nitrate at Beirut port in the first place? Who owned this ammonium nitrate? Did that ship make an unscheduled stop to Beirut? Or is any political party involved in bringing in that flammable material? So it's not just a question of justice and accountability. People also want answers. The blast really is symptomatic of everything that is wrong in Lebanon. Corruption in state institutions, negligence on the part of the authorities, the failure of the state to protect its citizens. The blast happened at a time when uh, the country has, uh, has all but collapsed, the economy all, all but collapsed because of decades of mismanagement and corruption. So people are not really surprised on how the authorities have dealt with the case, especially after the blast. They said that the investigation will be completed in two to three days and there will be justice. Two years on, no accountability, no justice and no answers.